is a family affair thing, okay? It is nine minutes after seven. That's our time. We're starting sounding good all the time. Uh, today, I'm hosting a singer, songwriter, daughter of two uh, music icons, uh, Andy Brown and uh, Chioniso Maraire. She has released you know, quite a number of uh, singles uh, that have been uh, widely played on radio airwaves. Uh, the likes of uh, Love Me Mo, uh, Too Late, Pizza, uh, Pizza Nene, uh, No Drama, I just to mention a few. Um, most people get to know, uh, got to know uh, from um, of her when, I mean, she collaborated with her sister Amara Brown on the song What You Want. Okay? Uh, she will be taking us through her musical journey as we trace how it all began as well as uh, her rebranding to Chengeto. Okay. Uh, her name is Chengeto Brown. She's in the building. Hey, Welcome, I Chengeto. Know. <laughs> Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm all right. Check it. How is how, how is everything going? Everything, honestly, I cannot complain. Uh -huh. I'm splendid. Yeah. Highly favored. Uh, highly favored. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We have never met, have we? No, but I feel like we have. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we have. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's good. Uh, finally, you know, I met you. I got to meet you. And um, what have you been up to? Uh, check it out. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start. So mm -hmm. much, so much. Um, well, my first album is actually done. Oh, oh yeah. Finally. Uh -huh. After so many years of, you know, mm -hmm. the in and out, I've come to a place of creativity where yes. I'm so intentional mm -hmm. and sure of what my sound should be mm -hmm. and i just picked up guitar so yeah. e <laughs> yeah. I, uh, everything is good so we've just been creating mm -hmm. um recently just started my own label well, so we'll tell you more about that as the months come exactly yes i can't yes, wait yes thank you we are live on facebook uh page start off facebook page right now as i'm talking to uh check it brown she's in studio and check it out happy international women's month thank you thank you thank you woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> this month is uh dedicated to you know celebrate women across the world appreciating the work they do and uh, the contribution they put into i mean uh our day-to-day -day lives you know absolutely uh, as a woman as a female uh what does this mean uh or does this month mean to you well, first of all, I think we should get more months. Mm. But <laughs> um, I think as as time has, has passed over mm -hmm. the years, I've seen that more of society has made it a point to celebrate this month for women. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. As I'm growing older, I turned 27 this year. Okay. And the woman I'm becoming, I'm just like so excited mm -hmm. for everything she's going to execute. Yeah. And I can imagine with all the women in the world, once they get to that place... Um, I just I think it's really cool to get our flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yebo. <laughs> exactly. So check it out. You're a child of uh, music legends, you know. Yebo. Uh, may their souls rest in peace. Um, music is in your bloodline. Uh, tell me, um, at what age did your parents discover that yeah, you were? I mean, uh, there was a gift in you. Oh my gosh. Well, funny story. <laughs> Not a lot of people know this one. Mm -hmm. Apparently when my parents were touring um, in Europe in like the mid 90s, mm -hmm. late 90s, I ran on stage at the age of like two oh. while they're performing. Okay. And <laughs> 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 And apparently I was on beat. Right. So my dad was like, ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then when I was about nine, I started writing a lot mm -hmm. and then I started singing. Um, the cool thing about my parents is they never forced it on me yeah. as much as they saw it in mm -hmm. me. My mom mm -hmm. used to always say, listen, you're good at a lot of things, so make sure by the time you decide to do music, mm -hmm. you've tried yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. But I think I was about nine years old. So nine years. be like, okay, there's something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, then uh, where did it all begin? Uh, and uh, you'd perform where exactly? Uh, was it Sunday <laughs> school or maybe school choir? Um, okay, so yeah, initially it was school choir. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in the States, it was church choir. Uh -huh. And then I did a lot of talent shows, mm -hmm. college talent shows. Um, and then after that, I just started paying my way through studio mm -hmm. when I was in Seattle in yeah. the States. And I came home and, you know, everybody was so welcoming and then it just flew off from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I want to, I mean, uh, briefly tell me about your childhood. What was it like? Honestly, it was a blessing. I think I was blessed to have just really great human beings as parents, mm -hmm. you know, and just getting to, you guys got to experience them as Andy Brown and Johnny Somarere to mm -hmm. me as mom and dad. But they were just superstars, even as parents. Oh, really? Yeah, they were. They were dope. <laughs> nah, they were really cool parents. Yeah. And, you know, everybody has their flaws, obviously. Mm -hmm. As a parent, I've learned that myself. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, just a super blessed childhood. Mm -hmm. I think I got to experience things not out of privilege, but, mm -hmm. you know, just 
awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, awesomeness. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I also had very humble parents mm-hmm. that taught me how important that is. Um, and just being intentional with everything. So I mm-hmm. think I was quite blessed to have those two, you know? So were you raised by uh, both parents? I was. I was. They separated when I was about eight. But mm-hmm. it doesn't feel, when I look back at the time, yeah. it doesn't feel like I was raised mm. in a mm. separate household. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. There was and love. There, there was love. And, mm. and I never had, like, my mom never spoke ill of my dad. Mm-hmm. My dad never spoke ill of, of my mom. They yeah. both respected each other. Mm. So mm. I think in a situation like that, co-parenting kind of works out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I i like that so both your parents were popular and then uh you know um you know them being musicians yeah i'm assuming they were uh they were always busy you know how often did you spend i mean time uh, with uh-huh. them given that they were um, you know i mean i was going on tour with them as a baby mm. so i don't know i think maybe once i started having to go to school mm-hmm. go it's my schedule yes and everything uh-huh. but I spent a lot of time with my parents. As mm-hmm. much as they were also gone for tours and stuff, I don't know. I think I just learned what was going on, mm-hmm. understood the program, and we just we understood each other. So mm. I can't say that I feel like I never spent time. No. Nice. No. A- at one point, you moved to the states, to the US. Yes. yes. Uh, how old were you then uh, when you moved to the uh, states? The first time I went, I was eight, and I came back. Mm-hmm. Then I was twelve, but I officially moved when I was fourteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Officially, for how many years? Five years. Five, five years. to seven. What, what, what were you doing there? I was doing high school. So 14, I was finishing off high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, oh God, what was after that? Working. I was an accountant. I mm. went to college. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did the nine to five white collar thing. Uh-huh. Um, and then unfortunately, when my younger sister passed on, mm-hmm. it just, you know, after mom, after dad, after yeah. her, it just felt yeah. like it's time to go home. Mm-hmm. You know, and after about five to eight years in the diaspora you might not yeah. come home here yeah. you, really? if you're not careful mm. Mm. So, <laughs> uh-huh. so I just I, I felt like I had to come back for healing mm-hmm. but um, the states it, it was nice for the time that I was there yeah. it made sense yeah and how was life uh, you know, like in the US um it functional mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> functional I think um one of the biggest things I've noticed that I love about being Zimbabwean and, and being able to identify as that kind of mm-hmm. African is yeah. that you have a, a root and a place mm. to start from. Yeah. So I found that I struggled a lot because it felt like a lot of the people were mm-hmm. lost, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, sure. Um, but if you're speaking financially, it was great. Yeah. I was an accountant. I was mm. making good money. Wow. Um, but it, it was good. But at some point, it's just it's not home. Mm. It's H- not home. How different uh, is it from uh, from Zim? I mean, God, I could go on and on. Mm-hmm. There's a list and a half. Um, but I think obviously your day-to-day things are a lot different. Um, I would say communication is mm-hmm. very different. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I'm going to say. Communication. Communication, how people communicate to each other. I feel like Zimbabweans, Africans in general, were a lot nicer to each other. Mm. Despite all the madness, there's like a genuine love and positivity mm-hmm. that you know just radiates amongst yeah. everyone. It's a bit cold over there, you mm. know. Yeah. Everyone's just running around doing something <laughs> that you forget to connect with people. <laughs> Are you doing my way? What are you doing? Mm. Um, yeah, and honestly, once the racial sort of problem started getting a bit mm. intense, oh, yeah? I just found that, you know, because there in the States, a drop of black, you're black. Mm-hmm. That's it. So I, it was time for me to leave. And uh, just to remind our listeners, I'm talking to Chengeto Brown. She's in studio with us right now and we're live on Facebook page, uh, staff and Facebook page. And I understand uh, in the US, you also started doing uh, theater and some short yeah. story <laughs> writing. Tell us about all that. You did all your research. Yeah, yeah I yeah. love it. <laughs> Oh man, so an- another thing about me is that I'm a writer. I've mm-hmm. always been a writer first before a performer. Um, so when I was in high school, I delved into script writing. Mm-hmm. So I wrote a lot of plays, which brought me into theater. I did opera for a long time, which is a oh, great, great, nice. great exercise yeah. for the instrument. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and that just, that got to sort of feed my creativity at a young age. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they were very receptive of that there. Yeah. They're very feeding to that um, from a young age. My mm-hmm. guitar, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah, it, it, it was really cool challenging, my, sorry, challenging myself from a young age, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, that's interesting. And uh, what are some of the lessons you learned, you know, during your stay there? Um... Money isn't everything, because you can have a lot of money, but you won't really feel happy. Yeah. Um, family is everything, because mm-hmm. once you've made all of that, you need people to spend it on and spend it with mm-hmm. that make it meaningful. Um, how to budget. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I learned how to budget. Um, 
And then also just like how important it is to always remain connected mm. to your, you know, to your roots. Yes. Because I found myself missing the sound of Shona mm. from another person that oh, wasn't yeah. my family yeah. member, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, So, yeah, just always making sure you're connected to your roots all the time. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's great. Uh, why did you then leave uh, the U.S.? Um, yet you were making money over there? It's like I said, unfortunately, <clears throat> the way my younger sister passed was so sudden. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it had been like four consecutive mm. years of burying people. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I felt like I'd be my strongest in my healing if I came home. Mm -hmm. That's really as simple as it is. I was supposed to be here for like a month. Oh. That was on five years later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Azi ola teo chuo, I mean, chengeto, kutata jispaisa nisho na shamaritra kukunzu wa hukunu hukumba. Ora ito, ora ito, I watoku wa, no worries, no worries. Church time here. So, you know, chengeto, at what age did you start, I mean, releasing music? Oh my gosh, I think I was about 21. Ndaka zoka, yeah. 21? 21, 2021 is when I first put out my first few projects. Funny enough, I was in the States, Pataka Mario Koda, and they were produced by Simba Tags. Oh, Simba Tags. So Simba Tags was here, I was there, and I just uh -huh. heard that he was hot in the yeah. streets. I was like, hey, my guy. Can you do this? Two million got my wigs. Two million um, so that was cool. So mm -hmm. I was already kind of familiar with the Zimbabwean producers oh, and yes. the Indus, you know, just mm -hmm. that hub of creatives mm -hmm. and everything like that. So yeah, 21 was Twi my first release, If I. Mm. And and how old are you now? I'm turning 27. 27? In June. Oh, June. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a so, baby, don't tell them. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> so how did the, um, the other people receive your music? I mean, uh, in the US, given that uh, you were a foreigner? Uh, well, so the thing is, we, in our family, to be foreign is really quite of a weird concept because mm -hmm. we, we just grew up exposed to so much yeah. that we traveled quite a bit. So by the time I was really settled into the States in my late high school years, ah, Tangata, Tadapta, Tamisha, Momo. Yeah, if mm -hmm. anything, my music was more hybrid towards their side. Mm -hmm. So I liked the R&B, oh, you yes. know, Anna Lauren yes. Hill, Chi Chi Chi, mm -hmm. those were my inspirations. So mm -hmm. it was received quite well. Um, yeah, I, I really can't say there was a moment of, of weirdness yeah, there. Yeah, yeah they so were quite right receptive. Right fire. Very encouraging crowd, very yeah. encouraging crowd. And then I was in France for a bit, and they were also quite encouraging. I've always made it a point, uh, as my mom used to say, make your music mm -hmm. sort of universal. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it doesn't matter if you're in America, if you're in China, if you're in exactly. Indonesia. Yeah. Your feeling must communicate through mm. your music, and mm. people receive it yeah, either way. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And Mama Ogwa is it just I mean it does so well. I so she was well. the master. Nembira zavo zikifanya. And my sotombo to imbira. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So my challenge is aga sanga na o uchigara go state in Dhabi. Um I think the biggest part and honestly the one challenge that I can remember as you ask the question mm -hmm. Was being was feeling sorry like I was alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't say being alone because yeah. there were people around me, uh -huh. my friends. Yeah, but just feeling alone because I had very patriotic mm -hmm. parents. Mm -hmm. My father was proudly Zimbabwean. Yes. My mother was proudly, <laughs> <laughs> you know, So mm -hmm. it was, it just it was a bit draining, feeling mm -hmm. very lonely at some point, mm -hmm. and just not feeling the warmth yeah. of home. Yeah, that was it. And homesick. Um, Hey, you know, <laughs> and I think one of my other challenges, especially that drove me to come back, mm -hmm. was that both my parents passed when I was overseas, mm. and you know I didn't even make it for my father's funeral. Hey, you know, and um, I was there, by the way. Oh. I I went there. You see? I was there by Ku Ningigini. Ku Cramborn. Exactly. Yeah, no, and, and yeah. thank you to everybody who was there to just you know support the family. Mm -hmm. Um, and then a few years, no, a year later, my mom passes. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's when I was just like, ish. And then, you know, we came, we got my little sister, went there, then she passed. So it yeah. was just a lot of, I just need to go home. Mm, yeah, mm, that was a big mm. challenge for yeah. me. I, I felt very um, sore from that one. So yeah. I had to come home, yeah. And uh, what did you love the most about the U.S.? The food. Oh, my God. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> McDonald's. KFC. The originals. <laughs> yeah, originals. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, what else did I miss? Maybe the beach? Mm-hmm. That's about it. That's <laughs> about it. I, don't, I can't think of anything else. So give it a chance you go back. You know what? It's funny you're asking me that question. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to leave it unanswered. <laughs> it's funny though that you're asking that question today because we never know. You never but, know. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, 2023 was the time you relocated back home. Uh, is that right? 
No, two, uh, 2000 and uh, God. What was it? 2013. No, it wasn't 2013. It was 2016 is when I came 2016. back. 2016. Yeah, officially came oh, back. Officially. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what was the... I mean, but but yeah, no, yeah, we are not even talking about it. We can go and bogara go. Let's say states. We do zoge gumba like you said. We after so many years. We do zoge 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 go netsa. We do ah kumba bozo ngwa jera tuzo ugo go. Again, because I because na mama na mdara gata hey. gara tichi da 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 ni netsa ndege. So hey. it was never. Home is always home. No matter where yes. you go, uh, home is home. You know, yeah. So uh, there was not much challenge there for me, to be mm-hmm. honest. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, it is that same year, like you said, uh, that your mother passed. Uh, and um, you know, uh, the previous year, uh, you had just buried your father. Yeah, uh, From what I gathered, uh, you say your mother was the biggest, uh, you know, influence in your music career. She definitely was. She definitely was. Um, Again, because she was so encouraging always, mm. you know, and just giving me the sort of space and freedom to yeah. grow at my own mm. pace. Mm. Um, and how did the, I mean, her death affect you? I mean, hey, it's your mother passing as yeah. a firstborn daughter mm-hmm. at the age of 15. It was a lot. Yo. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm entering my womanhood and, you know, the woman in my life that's the main person to mm-hmm. teach me these things isn't there. Um, so it was really challenging. However, I think... Weirdly enough, I feel like I got to know her better mm-hmm. afterwards because I, I, I had to, to have those memories yeah, and connections yeah. to her. Mm-hmm. So it was very difficult at first. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't say that there's any way to deal with losing your mother yeah, and sure. I don't wish that on anyone, mm-hmm. but it is the circle of life. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am grateful with the kind of mother she was because by the time that happened, I understood sort of spirituality mm-hmm. and how, you know, mm-hmm. just life works. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a, fra- uh, a phrase that, that says, uh, you can't get over the death of a loved one, yeah. but you learn to live with the pain. I would like to believe that uh, it is what you have been doing. Have you managed to cope throughout, I mean, uh, how have you ever, I mean, Absolutely. Over, over yeah, the years? Yeah, no, I mean, out of creativity, there's music, obviously, mm-hmm. um, writing. Um, I'm actually working on a book, a short stories collection on grief and, mm-hmm. and the reality of that as a young person. Um I think also, God, how do I put it? Um, just being here has helped me cope mm-hmm. because their memories are still alive. Mm-hmm. Whenever you guys are screaming their songs yeah, and everyone yeah. is like, hey, she knows you'll be in the supermarket trying to buy a pork pie and someone's yeah. like, Chenge to my lako, exactly. Chenge to my lako, hey, you know. Yeah. Um, my memories of Adzoka Exactly. So that's yeah. where my coping. And also, I'm very big on mental health. Mm-hmm. So therapy was something I was very open to Mm -hmm. i think it's always healthy in the process of trying to understand why things have changed Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um in a more negative sense in that moment to talk about it Mm, you know what i mean mm, and talk mm. about it to somebody who can actually help you because a lot of times we're talking to people that can't help us and you don't walk out of there feeling better so um therapy was a big part for Mm -hmm. me yeah yeah. And uh, what are some of the lessons you learned from uh, both your parents? Uh, because, you know, to most people, they looked up to them. They idolized, uh, idolized them, mm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to think of the first three that I can <laughs> The first quite three. few. Listen, <laughs> those are geniuses, but hey, yeah. <laughs> um, I think one of the things my dad taught me, actually, about when it came to, like, the mm-hmm. industry, he used to tell me, don't take anything personal. Don't take anything no, personal. Because everything is personal when mm. it comes to music. Mm. You know, as yeah. an artist, it's very personal what I share with you. Yeah. But I can't take everything personal that happens because mm. there's always mm. politics and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, my mom taught me, you know, just humble. My mm-hmm. dad also, but sometimes, you know, he had to stand his ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, she always used to say, mm-hmm. and, and always remember to treat Yeah. The person who mm-hmm. is going to be a rich, rich person the mm-hmm. same way, yeah. you know. Um, and then something both of them were very adamant about, education. Mm-hmm. Education. Mm-hmm. Education. Yeah. Education, so yeah. yeah. adamant mm-hmm. about education. Education. Education is so important. Because if they take my voice away today, what yeah. do I have left yeah, outside sure. of that, sure. you know. So that's why I did school first. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think those are the first three that I can think. What, what are some of the qualifications you have? I am a certified public accountant in the state of Texas mm-hmm. and Washington. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Over there, though. Over there. Kote kunoku. Atita kaunti kunoku. Atita zuba gitari. Atita zuba gitari kunoku. So, was it your mother who taught you how to play mbira? No. So, funny enough, self-taught. After self-taught. My mom, after my mom passed away is when I picked it up. And mm-hmm. then last year, the guitar. Oh. Yeah. So, what other instrument do you play? 
I now play, I think, four. Because mm-hmm. there's also Ngoma. I do really well with percussion. Mm-hmm. I have from a young age. And mm-hmm. there's also keys. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to be the whole band. So I <laughs> bass shit. <laughs> the bass because I'm a drum. My drum's bo, do I? Bo. Yeah, that's okay. It's percussion, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is the Check It Up Round uh, on the spot. Check It Up. Uh, between the two, uh, your mother and uh, your father, yeah, you know, whom do you think you take after the most um, music-wise? Do you know when they say the word hybrid? I am down to the T because, like, right now, because I picked up guitar, yeah, I've really discovered production. Yeah, I'll production will fire guys. <laughs> and I'm going to say, you know, just getting to create from exactly. scratch, yes. Um, but that's a lot of my dad because mm-hmm. my dad was truly a producer mm-hmm. as well, yeah. outside of his, you know, mm-hmm. a main artist and the lead guitarist, yeah. Um, but my mom's voice. I was really poor. Mm-hmm. And then Dorian's were. I don't know who I was. I was no truly speaking uh-huh. from a really, really honest place. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm just a mixture of both. Mm-hmm. I can't give one more credit. Yeah. Because depending on what I'm going through in my life, I'm going to go to Chinja. I mean, it's safe. What about being a better end? You know what I'm saying? What about being a Oh, ah, nice. So yeah. most people got to know you, you know, when you release the, um, uh, the song, What You Want. Yep. Yeah, alongside your sister, Amara Brown. Yes. Uh, would you agree with me? Um, when I say that song, you know, broke into, I mean, you got to go up in the more limelight. 100%, 100%. I think it's definitely part of my journey, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think I've always said this with Amara. I'm so grateful that I was able to arrive and mm-hmm. have her where she was yeah. in her journey. Yeah. Because then she kind of covered me a little bit. Exactly. And then she's like, hey, little sis, let's go this way. <laughs> um, what You Want was so awesome. Mm-hmm. A lot of love to Ozkid as well for even coming up with that amazing, yep. you know, rhythm and everything. Mm-hmm. But No Watch One definitely put me on the map. Yeah. I was also like, but guys, I don't do dance hall, okay? <laughs> Chimbomirai, Chimbomirai. But Toshgona, but Chimbomirai. But dance hall, not over it. Ah. Because it's a freestyle, let's dance hall. Guys, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know just a lot of regular freestyle later on as we you know progress okay mm, but mm-hmm. uh, when do we expect music uh you know uh, from uh, the two sisters oh gosh the thing is you know we're both in so we're not even in the same country right now so that always interrupts the sort of mm. you know creative flow but we also you know each artist i think can relate to needing to find themselves again and again mm-hmm. once in a while yeah and for me honestly i didn't want to collaborate with anybody not mm-hmm. in the sense of like don't want to collaborate but yeah. I just really wanted to find mm-hmm. my sound and I know she's also working on Flame Lily right now mm-hmm. and like I've changed my album name like twice <laughs> why? Uh, I don't know I don't know it's just it's the moment <laughs> I don't know I don't know I listen I'm, I'm an artist yeah, okay? yeah. yeah. being but, creative um, <laughs> yeah no it was it was really cool man what you want was mm-hmm. it was a lovely 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 experience I agree, I agree. but and soon soon don't I I love that song you know I love that song We'll give you all the time. I remember driving down Chiremba uh-huh. and that car's playing it. Yeah. That car's playing it. That car's playing yeah. it. Yeah. This one. And then it starts on the radio. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're rocking. <laughs> so how yeah. close are you with your with your siblings? Oh my gosh. We're on and off for siblings. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we're close. Sometimes we're just fighting for no actual <laughs> Reason. reason and like a year later we're like ah that fight was not <laughs> really you know uh-huh. but one way in this like eee. exactly Parumbo. Parumbo <laughs> size on size, but overall love we actually just all had a beautiful lunch mm-hmm. yesterday okay for one of our younger younger brothers birthday oh so, nice yeah. nice how was it it was good mm-hmm. it's a family of seven now <laughs> so it's seven, seven eight actually my other mm-hmm. sister's in New Zealand but oh. yeah all seven of us it's oh, nice. yeah, in Africa at the moment so ah, great I think with my siblings we're very honest with each other we mm-hmm. respect each other so we like each other on and off on, and, on, a, on and off truthfully speaking <laughs> 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 ah, okay still on that sisterhood does it bother you when people I mean uh, refer you as uh, change it to a sister to Amara Brown you know or maybe when they refer to uh, to you as the daughter of the late uh, music, yeah. uh, musicians I think at first when I was younger because I was younger it mm-hmm. used to irk me because I'm like oh come on guys mm. I'm my own person yeah. right mm-hmm. um, but the truth of the matter is my story isn't told without those people in mm-hmm. it you know it's intertwined with my sister it's intertwined with my parents yeah yeah um, but also somehow some way it's gotten to a place where that doesn't really happen mm-hmm. to be honest 
I've kind of managed to just sort of stand yeah, yeah. on my own. Because mm-hmm. you can tell when someone's doing it to be like, oh, oh my God. Yes, and when someone's yes. trying to be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I understand. You get, yeah. But uh, is, it, is it the reason why, I mean, you rebranded yourself from Chengeto Brown to Chengeto? Oh, no. My mom was Chuaniso, not Chuaniso Maraire. You guys just kept calling it Chuaniso Maraire. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Chuaniso. Yeah, it's just wanting to, to create mm-hmm. your own entity and your own legacy separately, mm-hmm. you know. But is, is it like rebranding? Yeah, I do go as Chengeto, but mm-hmm. I've been doing this for four years and yeah. you guys refuse. <laughs> Down to you in the flyer today, I was like, Amanaga, okay, fine. Uh-huh. Um, but what I always wanted was like outside of mm-hmm. Zimbabwe or Sadek, right? I always try to imagine people that didn't know who my parents oh, were. Oh, yeah. And when they look me up, I want them to see me and then I want them to then see, oh, wait, mm-hmm. she comes from mm-hmm. this family mm-hmm. of, of so yeah. and so. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of us browns, you yeah, know. Yeah. Browns, <laughs> Magawanda. Taste it to the music, so you know it's. But yeah, don't you think that name it. Brown, I mean, uh, can open doors for you in the industry? I still am who I am, whether or not I'm using it. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Chingeto will always be Chingeto Brown, mm, whether brown. she introduces herself as Chingeto, but, but she'll you know, always be Chingeto Brown. Yeah, so I got lucky there. So you think you can still go places despite dumping your surname? Sorry, what was that? I can still go places as far. Yeah, uh, but uh, despite, I mean, dumping your surname. I think I've done okay. Mm-hmm. You guys won't let me dump it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. I swear, I you guys will let me dump I it. But guys also. <laughs> yeah, and TD. Yeah, uh-huh. but um, it's not dumping. Mm-hmm. It's not dumping. It's like I said, it's always part of my identity. Yeah. And it always will be, and that's just what it is. Uh, someone saying, uh, is Chengeto married? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. How many kids? got one son one son so far oh great so you've released quite a number of uh, singles from uh, too late love me more just to mention a few uh how is uh, i mean how 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 has been the process Mm -hmm. you know uh the experience ever since you broke into the uh music scene um it has been an interesting one Mm -hmm. i found that when i first started i was very excited and then somewhere in the middle I felt like I was making the music people wanted me to make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but it's been rewarding also. Yeah. It's really helped me grow as a person. Mm-hmm. A lot, a lot. And I see uh, you have evolved to I'm a piano. <laughs> I gave you guys I'm one a I'm a piano, piano song. Piece. One song, guys. <laughs> but do you have a specific genre that you are boxing yourself? You know, no. In all, I mean, music. Absolutely I not. I'm a hybrid. Mm. I'm a hybrid. Depending, mm-hmm. I will come up with a reggae song today uh-huh. an opera song tomorrow mm-hmm. a very R&B like you know nostalgic feeling yes. the next day and uh-huh. then I'll rap for you the following day so <laughs> you know it depends my check <laughs> would you consider uh, a Sungura collaboration or even a gospel absolutely mm-hmm. I love to challenge myself mm-hmm. yeah and no, I recently just started writing country music so country I think, music I think I'm willing to do <laughs> anything anything why country there. music though I'm a Texas girl, just a little bit, uh-huh. just a little bit. Plus, also, I love how how um you know the Dolly Parton, uh-huh. the Tracys, they just used to, you know, they had a thing <laughs> there. That's what I'm trying to find in my voice as well. But let's say you are going to collaborate. Uh, maybe you are going to do a collab. Yes, Sungura. Whom do you uh, do you have in mind? I uh, uh, with an so funny. Yeah, I yes, actually Sungura. thought about this the other day. Mm. I would like to collaborate. I think it's Alec Macheso's daughter. Yeah, who's also playing guitar. Sasha. Yes, mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. I heard something she did. It was really, really cool. And I'd love to see what we could come up with. Really? Yeah, if I'm going to do that, or Tanto Wavy, mm-hmm. Trap Sungura. <laughs> 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 no, but for the old and grades, um, uh-huh. Mr. Macheso, I think, would be the right uh, person for that. Uh, Chengedo, many times, you know, female musicians complain about the unfair treatment they receive mm-hmm. in the music space. I've also noticed that uh not on a line up, you're sure. <laughs> Playing again two uh, or three female musicians, the rest of our room, even uh, you know, uh, almost or head of such. Of course, um, yeah, I think. Listen, we are in a very male-dominated mm-hmm. industry. Um, I think because men were doing it for a while, mm-hmm. and then you know, with women, women usually only made it to the backing vocalist. Uh-huh. So by the time the women became the stars, it's it's an adjustment and it's a turning cycle yeah, yeah. Um, in the industry. And I think that. Um, we also need to just, uh, yeah, open more more doors mm-hmm. for the younger female artists, the mm-hmm. undiscovered ones. Um, and I think also just make it okay to have different kinds of female mm-hmm. artists. Yeah. I think part of the problem is that our audience tends to expect a certain kind of look, yeah. a certain kind of sound, mm-hmm. a certain kind of just, you know, overall energy and entity. Um, 
And that can be hard to upkeep if that's not really you mm. sometimes, mm. you know. So mm. I think that's why it's lacking because there are so many amazing creative females, mm. right? But again, male-dominated industry, people are quicker to want that male lineup that they want the, the female But how lineup. best can that be improved? Um, oof, wow. I think everybody needs to stop making it a sexist thing mm -hmm. and just look at each other as artists. Artists, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm, like, I it shouldn't think. be like the men's table, the women's mm. table, the big boys club. No, 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 no. Mm. We're all creating because once we're all supporting each other, well, you know, with the mindset of building and just, you know, growing and getting better, mm -hmm. we'll actually take Zim where it needs to go in the industry because yeah, we're yeah. so talented. Mm. But part of the problem is that boxing and people feeling like they can't, you know, really accomplish and achieve oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. certain things. Of late, I have seen you doing a couple of uh, you know, shows. How has uh, that been going so far? It's been lovely. I always say to people, always stay performing, even mm -hmm. if it's for the grass, okay? <laughs> 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 or whatever. Because, you know, the voice is an instrument. It's been really cool. Mm -hmm. Um just sort of solidifying and strengthening mm -hmm. my, my performance yeah, on yeah, stage. Because yeah. one thing I love to do is sing. My way, I love well, to sing. Wee, my way, but I want to sing even better and better and better. <laughs> <laughs> so it's helped. Yeah. Yeah. Chenga, a couple of uh, months ago, a picture of you was posted on Zim Celeb's page. And Ooh, I must I was say, waiting for that one. Yeah, uh, I must say, uh, the comments were not pleasant at all. Uh, people came I hard kind on of you. funny. Yeah, but people came hard on you. You know, some accusing you of doing drugs. Oh. Uh, were those accusations are true? Those accusations were not true, and it's so unfortunate. You know, Zim celebs really—they <sighs> disappoint me. Those people. Mm -hmm. You know, I find that at times, especially with such a platform, negativity or incepting negativity is just not. The nicest thing to do you know was it uh, zim celebs uh, or it was the uh, a, uh the well, comment section well listen when you post something with a certain kind of caption mm -hmm. you're incepting a certain kind of comment and it's then luckily for me I'm, i went to marketing school mm -hmm. as well so i kind of know how it goes that by the time i woke up my friends actually had to be like chingy what's what's all of this i'm yeah. like ah, mind you i'm coming out of surgery mm. i'm coming out of surgery yeah and they post that hey like, literally, I was maybe a week out of an appendix <laughs> removal. Hey. So when I saw that, I was like, you know what, guys? If I'm not at 10,000 comments by the end of the day, mm -hmm. then... Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You know, and, and, and sometimes you can't... I can't get upset at people anymore because mm -hmm. they don't know better mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's easier to come with so much negativity. And How did you react, though? I was sleeping mm -hmm. the whole day because mm -hmm. I'm recovering from my <laughs> surgery. <laughs> and my friend is like, yo, what's going on? Da, yeah. da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Now, don't get me wrong. I did go through a period of time in my life a long time ago, you know, double dabbling and things like that. Mm -hmm. And when you're young, you make mistakes yeah. and you learn from them, right? Which is why it goes back to my mental health thing. Mm -hmm. But as far as the, the thing with Zim Celebs, I was just like, guys, I haven't even posted in like eight months yeah. where did you guys find this you know <laughs> I, got Juma. I was flattered <laughs> i was flattered yeah listen yeah. if you can do that you got love it's okay <laughs> <laughs> there's a high rate of drug abuse you know yes. uh, in the country and yes. that is destroying lives uh most young people have fallen victims mm. uh to that some use them as a way of uh, i mean to do uh away with uh heads pain depression yeah yeah so I how best that. can we eradicate drug abuse i think the fair fact of drug abuse is you know just kind of find out how they're getting in the country to start off with and then maybe we can start mm -hmm. there yeah um but the conversation needs to become less aggressive mm -hmm. and more passive from a place of understanding yeah. so instead of it's like okay yes why do these kids feel like they need to do this mm -hmm. because as a young Zimbabwean, what is it to be young in Zimbabwean? Like, yeah. do I have something to look up to, to which, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And 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 times have been hard in a past tense form. Yeah. Um, so I'm not surprised at the rate of everything. Mm -hmm. I just think that the conversation needs to become a lot more nurturing yeah, yeah. than it is accusatory, mm -hmm. you know, because everything has a root. Mm -hmm. And that's why my mental health foundation is so important because, like, we lost a lot of artists yeah. and just a lot of people, even suicide, like, just a lot of dark mm -hmm. things. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, rely on the drugs mm. to turn to them, mm. you know. Then mm. I think, and 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 willing to listen, yeah, you know, listening mm -hmm. not to respond but yeah. to understand. understand the children also. No, 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 but to actually listen because it's very deep, it's very deep, 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 True. deep. It goes very deep, yeah.
Okay, I'm just going to take this uh, comment on uh, WhatsApp. Anzi ko paka roma lyrics ekuti andisi mukaradi ndiri mushona. Ana ku create a graji with her siblings uh, uh, who are colored. What? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Can I get that person's name, please? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the super green. That's the super green. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. Start away. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Um, no, it didn't. Uh -huh. It didn't. I. When I was saying Andisi Mukara Dindiri Mushona, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's a bit of a weird taboo with yeah. with colored girls mm -hmm. and, and how they're treated, socially mm -hmm. speaking, yeah. once it's time to get married. Mm -hmm. So the song was called Pezaneni. It made sense. I'm a lyricist, <laughs> so I'm going to build a story <laughs> for you, my guy. No, but tell me about that. I, I believe, I, I don't know, I'm Shona. Mm -hmm. I was raised by my mom. Yeah. And my dad was not a colored guy, mm -hmm. if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. He's a Shona man. So when I said that, I didn't even think it was... Anything offensive because mm -hmm. truly, and this is what I did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. But that wasn't my intention. <laughs> but not my siblings, though. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No, nah, no, they understood what but I was But maybe doing. the colored community? I wouldn't know. Did you apologize? I didn't know I had to, but if I do, I will get to that <laughs> eight years later. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with all the trolls that are thrown at uh, celebrities and uh, you as well, um, how do you handle it? You know, do you clap back? Why? Why would you sit on your screen and type something into <laughs> someone you can't see? <laughs> May I clap back in person? Let's clap in person. <laughs> Let's clap back in person. <laughs> I was trying to get data. 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 I was trying Okay, Anzi ko chenge to par guti she's re uh, she's rebranding. Ko I think ye guti she was afraid of more carry states here because of this guy Chris Brown. What? I'm sorry. I don't speak any more carry because no. of uh, Chris Brown. What? He, there's Chris he, Brown. There's James Brown. There's Anita Brown. There's Joe Brown. There's Joe Brown. There's <laughs> Amar Brown. There's Chenge to par like so many guys. Yeah. Names yeah. and names, but no, not at all. So you've been uh, big on uh, mental health issues, uh, Chengeto. Uh, I saw some videos there yeah, you did concern, uh, concerning that. Um, did you suffer any depression? I did, mm -hmm. absolutely. So absolutely. tell me about that. What happened? Um, no, nah, it was after my mom passed. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, with my dad passing, um, it was it was almost, I don't know, I was able to handle that a bit more with my mm -hmm. mom because I lived with her as the primary parent. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. She just was, I mean, she was my mom, yep. you know, it really, it really took me into a, a dark place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then especially after my younger sister, Oh yeah. you know, she committed suicide mm, and that sad. was just, that was a mm, lot for me. Mm, true. But, you know, sometimes the problem with our culture is, you know, while we're burying and we're doing, you know, the namo, chi chi chi, you know and then you get back to the states and you mm -hmm. have to get back to work and yeah. get back into life and it's almost like people when you cut time cap yeah and grieving. yeah yeah so uh, and again, boy, yeah. i i had well, some serious struggle, just, just. i did i did i did luckily again because i was open to therapy mm. that's what helped me yeah. even down to like right now to this day i still mm. take therapy mm. Mm. because you know healing never stops and grief comes in waves but it's about today i was about today so are you now helping others? Yes, yes, yes. That's a big part of my mental health foundation mm, is to mm. create the conversation. It's actually called the Chiedza Brown Foundation oh. after my younger sister. Mm, oh, Chiedza, what did Yes, yes. Claire. And, um, you know, I, I really want to talk to the... My focus is on the teens, mm -hmm. on the teenagers. Because yeah. they, they are the... You know, the children of today are, you know, the society of tomorrow. tomorrow so we yeah. have to make sure that... We start there and then, you know, work our way mm -hmm. up and everything. But yeah, yeah I, it's one of my Not biggest, biggest only passions. are you a singer, but a mother as well uh, to a son, Zion. Zion. Zion, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how has been the motherhood so far? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was built for it. Oh. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you know, I tell you, when I got pregnant, my whole family was like, Bo, how are you? Uh, Bo. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. he is, um, he's part of the thing that has saved me and yeah. brought back my light mm -hmm. in myself and mm -hmm. my confidence and my spirit. Yeah. Um, you know, I started praying again mm -hmm. after I had my son. That's how I named him Zion, after oh, Mount Zion. Because yeah. not out of desperation, mm -hmm. but just... 
I don't know, this sort of like all belief yes, and gratitude yes, to God. Yes. Kuti, here's this person that mm-hmm. that's going to love me yes, the way I love yes, them. Guaranteed, yes. you know. And with the mm. way I love my mother, oh man, I, I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. He's turning five this year. Talented boy. Wow. Just talented. So a, a, any traits you see in him that suggest that he can become you know, a musician? He's playing a guitar like with his left hand. And he's left not hand? Five. Uh, and kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. Zion Ningoma Jesse. He's, uh-huh. he's a musical child for sure. For wow. Sure. I'm going to let him make his own decision because he's also a killer athlete. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but check it out. And so, Tumbo, and was now Rira, you know, the freestyle, trumpet. You know, the versatile. So, I'm going to freestyle, yeah, hip hop. To the Nagus freestyle, yes, Zim Danzo. To the Nagus freestyle, yes, Zim Danzo. Yes, Sungura. Right. Uh, 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 <laughs> so I'm gonna put you on the spot. Orlando Pauls when you better on the exactly, spot, but you know, okay. Exactly. Off the top of my head. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Am I supposed to be? I'm not. I'm not going to give you a bit. Oh, you're not. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. It's like. Uh, Okay, it's just okay. just um, <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's not fair. I can do two of those for you. So that's Sungura one. That's not Sungura one. Ah, Sungura no fire. I want to quite say. Oh God, something hip hop. Let's see. Um, I need a little bit more time with you, a little bit one on one, cause I come through, baby, just for the fun. And you love me, love me, so I don't run, cause I'm down, down, down. I think that's hip hop. Is that hip hop? That, that's was that R and B? Like like R and B. Yeah, the yeah, original. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Zim Danzo. Oh God. Ah. Here's one for you. Mm-hmm. You will only know me in your dreams. Cause you got to love me, 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 love me. Real and proper. You <laughs> are. That's, that's all you get there. I I know, the next one I have to pay for, my yeah. friend. That's what you're talking about. Love you. Send again and as you know, the teaser. I'm going to teaser. I'm going to teaser. Let's see. Can I cover something that I know? Yeah, of course. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, this is happening right now. Okay. Uh-huh. Live as well. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, is this a, is is Leonard Isia Chengeto? Whoa, something yet he said Chengeto. Whoa, I don't know. Take it away. Ah, from the no, that's all that I know. One more time. I remember. Chengeto. Whoa, something yet he said Chengeto. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, Ola, the way you're dancing, like I'm doing things that has sense. Hey, Gaga, what's with your mind, Asha? What's with your mind? Anyway, it's a good song. Check it out. Who is your favorite artist in Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe or Zimbabwe? Uh, I, I think maybe in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe right now? Oh God, I think I really like... Um, hmm. Is it someone who has to be known or undiscovered is okay? Any. I'm really into Denim Woods right now. Mm-hmm. He's this rapper. He's Congolese, but he grew up here mm-hmm. and everything. Ah, very, very talented. I'm into this kid named Sun. It's mm-hmm. all these young hip hop kids, yeah, just yeah. very, you know, sort of standoffish, but really standing their ground, mm-hmm. you know, and they sound really good. They give yeah. me hope. They mm-hmm. give me hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And outside Zimbabwe? Oh my gosh, outside Zimbabwe, that's Zimbabwe and Shingai. Oh. Shingai. Oh my God. Aga penga go. Yee. And not even the stuff you guys know. Eh? I'm talking about the other, other things. <laughs> ah, that woman is absolutely talented. I've uh-huh. got mad love for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, what do you love, I mean, to do? You know, spare time, what do you do? I read. A lot. I don't have a TV. I read. Like, I've got. 150 books now. I've read all of them. 150? I finished Harry Potter by the time I was nine. Mm. And uh, that's how you learn. And so far, which, uh, which one is your favorite book? I'm currently rereading Animal Farm, actually. Mm-hmm. George Orwell. It's mm-hmm. based on the, the Nazis and mm-hmm. the, you know, the Russians and mm-hmm. the Cold War and Stalin. Yeah. Um, but it's just really also nice to read because it kind of tells you how people work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, what is that? She? Uh, so, far, so far, I've learned that propaganda can get you far if you do it the right way. <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> propaganda. If you do it what? If you do it the right way. Not just. <laughs> and this is a, same thing as, you know, 
<laughs> not any publicity so, is so, okay. So, are, are you like a propagandist? <laughs> no, no, no. I just know how to avoid it. Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll never find any. Oh, you know how to avoid it. Anything funny about me? Ah, mungasecha, mungasecha. So that's propaganda, for that is. It? Yeah, because people need things to make them things. You know? mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make them things. <laughs> Yeah. Check it out. You're so fun, man. <laughs> You're so fun. Ah, no. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, as we end, check it out. Uh, what message do you have to the fellow women uh, in the music industry? Um, I think stay original, stay true to yourself, mm-hmm. and don't fall under the pressure. Don't fall under the pressure. Yeah, because once you fall under that pressure, you start doing things that are out of character, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's not necessary. Um, and just be more willing to support each other mm-hmm. instead of falling into the fear, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. And so, Ola, uh, the, I love this girl. I know that it's a career was like a knack and it's my tadipa. Yeah. Hi, Ola. Uh, animal farm. All animals are equal. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then it became animals on two hooves are equal <laughs> and then and then i like that guy thank you <laughs> and hi jenga i know you through manfred a white guy from germany um promoting yes. uh zimbira yes yeah. yes hello, He's, hello. Uh, silas Baguero. ah lovely yeah and i love the, manfred he makes beautiful mirrors yes. and the, we love usacheme song by chuaniso we would love a cover song from chengetu that's actually something I'm working on. Really? Yeah, but a sort of a new letter to my son as well. So oh, it's nice. Lovely. Uh, nice. That's great. Thank you. Uh, hi, Ola Chengedo is a genuine person. Uh, I've met her uh, many times in person. Uh, she's an adorable soul. Oh. I love her. Please oh. play me Pizza Nini by her. My I name is uh, Russian Ganyo. Oh, Russian. Hi. You know Russian? Oh, he's a sweetheart. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank nice, you. Nice. And the Chengedo's voice, I got a lot <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. And I was like, I'm going to go to the stage. So, do you sometimes perform my songs? Absolutely. I try not to do too, too much, mm-hmm. you know, but just enough to, to give homage to that. I always make sure I have yeah. one or two of both her and dad's tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, we're actually celebrating her this weekend. Mm-hmm. I very much look forward to that. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Hi, Chengetu. I love your accent. Uh, this is uh, my Sasha from Budiro too. Thank you. Right, Abasa. What about the accent? Accent Diego states guy. Diego is. Diego is there. There and there. Hi, Chengetu. I'm the guy thinking on TV. Ah, I'm not. But I'm not sure if I'm far away from him. So what am I to do? He's also got his like ten books there, you know, of numbers and blocks. <laughs> and I want to say to Chengdu Brown, I love his song "Call Me," uh, featuring uh, Danny Moods. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's thank Raj you. Tate, uh, that boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. And Ola, hi. Zuri say say I have uh, dentist for any cover she is going to sing. She's an awesome person, AJ Kobla wife. Thank you so much, man. Mm. I'm humbled, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Amara in and is Amara in Zimbabwe or South Africa? You just missed her. She left this morning back in South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check it out. It's my homie. Uh, it's blessed. Uh, blessed the taxi driver. <laughs> Hi, Blessed. How are you? Yeah, <laughs> He's a great driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. No, he is. He Auntie, is. which one is her favorite song from uh, her parents? This is coming from my fashion. That's not fair. Mm. I'm going to have to say two of each. Is that okay? Okay, yeah. Um, With my father, it's Ndoyenda. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Pachigaro uh, Chamambo. I don't know what it is about that song. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with my mom, it's actually the way of life mm-hmm. from Ancient Voices. Oh, yeah. And Tamari. Tamari. Yes. Anzi Chengeto, I like your genuineness. Uh, you are a genius. If you were not married, I was going to marry you. Anyway, Mashiri, Pamagwegwe, Koblawai. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pamagwegwe, I heard you. Pamagwegwe. Seen, seen, seen. Anzi Ola, Animal Farm, Danakirwa. Anzi and Benjamin was like, have you ever seen a dead donkey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's a quote from the book. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah. Old Benji, yes. Mm-hmm. Hi, Ola. I'm grateful I fan of... I people know Animal Farm. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because not only is the other one. It's in my bag right now, if mm-hmm. you don't believe me. Mm-hmm. And she's a beautiful character, Ola. Uh, Christabel from uh, South Park. I can wonder my messages. I'm going to get my pizza. Too many. Yeah, Too much love. I, I, thank you. Thank wonder. you. To so attend, to what do you have in store for us in 2023? I have an album, mm-hmm. an actual 11, yeah. or 
15 depending which mm-hmm. ones we land up uh, choosing towards the end but yes. the album is done and I am I'm in a very strong place with myself right mm-hmm. now to be able to put that out for you guys and you guys deserve it I've been patient yeah. I you yeah. I you've been patient okay yeah. that's great your parting remarks my parting remarks I don't know. Stay strong. Thank mm-hmm. you for having me here. Mm-hmm. You're a lot nicer than I thought you would be. Uh, That's my parting remark, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it was my pleasure, you know. No, thank um, you for having me. Uh, Star FM is my home. Yes, it, sure. It, you can say it. that again. Yeah, no. Every time we release, it's only with Star FM. Mm-hmm. That's... Yeah, that's the way to do it. Chato kuriza zote daro bana ba. Chato kuriza. Ina you know. But that interview, to pere gai. Ndio mbona ndiga patrule kapi zizi zizi. Eh, manje manje so. Which one? <laughs> Don't worry. Me want to play the ball. You're on it. Get a magic. I will do magic. I love so, it. So, uh, how can people get in touch with you? Um, so everybody, if you want to reach me, my social media handles are all under Chengeto mm-hmm. underscore official. Mm-hmm. Chete chete. Everywhere. 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 Chengeto underscore official official but also i'm sure if you just put in chengeta yeah. you find me <laughs> no no buda futi baba mungu mu follower guys follow 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 yes, follow chengeta thank you thank you okay that was uh, on the spot that's all we had for you guys and uh, you can follow me on instagram at dj ola7 uh, facebook page dj ola7 star fm and youtube channel at dj ola7 go and subscribe to my youtube channel as, well, as the biggest star fm youtube channel as well so that you can you know uh what catch up nizuga nizuga wonders nizuga and uh, you know big shout out to the team behind the scenes you get right dingana the producer as well as uh, mike large five a uh, mushu the guy behind the camera you know corners i work on the spot in the middle but we'll be back again next week uh, again same time the after drive after drive